winners in democratic contests and the biggest uh, single winner of uh, the particular contests that have taken place uh, in the UK this week is Sadiq Khan. He has been elected uh, the new mayor of London with, we believe, the biggest personal mandate in the five times these contests have been held. Uh, he's likely to be declared in the next hour. We'll have that. It's 8 o'clock. This is Sky News Tonight, live from City Hall, where the next mayor of London is about to be confirmed. Our top story, Labour Sadiq Khan will be the new mayor of London after taking an unassailable lead over his Conservative rival, Zach Goldsmith. This provides some comfort to Jeremy Corbyn after a bruising verdict on the Labour leader across much of the country. But Nicola Sturgeon's SNP are the big winners, relegating Labour to their worst performance in Scotland in a century. Tonight, we're going to analyse all today's results and ask what it means for the future of politics, north and south of the border. Also coming up, another major U-turn for the government. As the Education Secretary says plans to force all schools in England to become academies will be scrapped. Canada considers asking the United States for help as raging wildfires grow and threaten nearby oil fields. Dramatic footage showing intense bombing by Al-Qaeda militants near Aleppo amid international outrage at violence in Syria. And confusion in Korea as Western journalists are invited to witness a major political event but then barred from entering. We don't actually know where we're going. We appear to just be following this black car in front, we're told, we'll be told soon. Good evening from London City Hall on the south bank of the River Thames. The result of the race to be the Mayor of London is due to be formally announced here shortly and we'll bring you that live. We already know who's won. Uh, Labour Sadiq Khan took an unassailable lead over his Conservative rival Zach Goldsmith. Let's have a look at the official results so far in that mayoral election. And with all the votes now in, Labour Sadiq Khan has won 44%. He's got over a million votes, while the Conservative candidate, Zach Goldsmith, is on 35%, uh, with 910,941 votes. Sadiq Khan is also well ahead in second preference votes. Well, with me now is our political editor, Faisal Islam, and our election analyst, Michael Thrasher. Uh, Michael, first of all, talk us through the numbers of this victory, a pretty big one. It is a, a, a big one, and um, Sadiq Khan is, is on course to have the strongest uh, vote of any London mayoral election. So it's a very impressive result for him. And, of course, the, it's, what they will be interested in is the gap between him and Zach Goldsmith, and they want to extend... Uh, that gap as much as they can. And it's a victory, not just a personal victory for the mayor, but also for Labour in the London Greater London Assembly elections. Well, a rather curious um, event is happening in terms of the Greater London Assembly. Uh, although Labour won a constituency, because of the voting system, it, it, it's almost certain that they will lose a list seat as a consequence uh, of that. So 